Japan attacked Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, prompting America to enter World War II. The war heightened racist attitudes and anti-Japanese sentiment grew. Many suspected their Japanese-American neighbors might be spies or saboteurs. The military pressured President Roosevelt to take action. On February 19, 1942, FDR issued Executive Order 9066, which made it legal to relocate Japanese Americans from the West Coast. Over 120,000 Japanese Americans were taken from their homes, some of which were seized by white Americans. They could only bring with them what they could carry and were shipped to remote relocation centers. Once at the camps, they essentially became prisoners. Nearly two-thirds of people interned were native-born American citizens. Over a thousand young people from the camps volunteered for military service. Eleanor Roosevelt strongly opposed the internment. She visited one of the camps and urged FDR to lift the order. We must not forget this. We must realize that one cannot tell the difference between a citizen and a non-citizen by just looking at him, by seeing the color of his skin, or by hearing him talk. In 1944, the Supreme Court ruled that the government's actions were constitutional. In January 1945, the executive order was rescinded. The internees were released. In 1948, Eleanor Roosevelt helped draft the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which prohibits the incarceration of innocent civilians. We must want our fellow human beings to have rights and freedoms which give them dignity and which will give them a sense that they are human beings that can walk the earth with their heads high and look all men in the face. If we observe these rights for ourselves and for others, I think we will find that it is easier in the world to build peace. 